My name is Ryan, and welcome to Italy, baby. It's really foggy today, actually. So, let's get into it. So this is my second time here, and the first time I was here was back in 2017. I was just visiting, and went to Venice, and it was really cool. But uh, now I'm actually living here. Wow, it is completely different. If you're gonna be moving to a country, if not the United States, the one thing that you gotta understand is that everything that you know about your world it doesn't matter anymore. You're stepping into uncharted territory, and what I mean by that is that a lot of the stuff that you're gonna be thinking about doing or going through in the States is completely different here. One thing that is really weird about Italy compared to the United States is that if it's anything less than like 10 euro or $10 in the States, they do not like card. So one thing you have to get used to is carrying a lot of cash, coins, that kind of thing to be able to pay for things that are lower priced because the taxes on the cards out here is crazy high. So my step one for moving anywhere or even traveling is bring cash. Bring cash because a lot of times you never know what you're gonna need it for. You might not know if that store that has a souvenir that you really like is gonna have a card reader that takes you what you have. Another thing that I've noticed quite often is that I get stared at a lot out here because I'm really tall. I'm 6'5", and compared to the average person in Italy, the average person in Italy is about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so I'm very tall compared to the people out here. So it's very interesting to see how they react to seeing me and how they act around me. There's actually a mountain range back here. I'm gonna put it up on the screen now. It is absolutely beautiful when there's no fog, but the problem is that the fog right now has been so bad because along with people from the United States, a lot of the fog has been kind of rolling in, bringing cold weather and all that kind of stuff. Another big change that comes is that the fact that the road size is so much smaller because the towns here weren't made for big cars. They're made for small horseback back in, you know, the times before cars and they've modified them to be able to accommodate cars, but they're so tiny. So a lot of the cars here are either one seaters or two seaters that are just super small compared to the stuff that's in America. And look at this road, literally half the size of like any common road. This is like a one lane road in America. It's crazy. My number one favorite part about being out here though is the fact that it's just quiet. Like it's just ambiance. It's out here, it's just, it's a lot different than in the States. You know, you have people that are usually outside or cars making noise honking. And it's just a nice small town. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, you have cobblestone cobblestone rock walls along the roads like just listen just silence it's the occasional dog barking but you know you can't handle that you can't you can't stop that so i'm sitting down getting ready to edit this video and look at this pizza this is the americana dude this is the staple of america fries meat bread you can't get any better than that, honestly. The last thing that I want to talk about in this video is the food. I struggle horribly with gluten problems and lactose intolerance problems back in the States. And since I've lived here about two weeks, I have not had any problems with milk or gluten out here. I've eaten tons of bread. I've had tons of milk. And just so as to prove to you, that the stuff you're eating isn't good for you. I'm just eating regular old bread from sandwiches and milk from the superstore and i'm not having problems my stomach growls a lot though because i think that my body's getting used to the fact that i'm eating actual food now and not just eating like horribly chemically processed horribleness that america serves us it's something to think about just update for you guys i'm gonna be going to montenegro this weekend which is actually one of the biggest producers of the most high quality knives in the whole entire world I'm gonna be looking at some of the cool knives out there. I'm also gonna be looking at uh, some of the architecture that lies within the city and some of the history that isn't even told in it. And next weekend after that is a four day, so we're going to Rome. If you're new here, welcome. If not, thanks for coming back for another video. Just so you guys know, Rome is gonna be four days of action packed, awesome, fun filled videos. All the history, that Roman Empire, and all that stuff. Oh, I, can't, I cannot wait. Make sure you guys come back for the next video. Until the next one, peace out, boys.